Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Mr. Mario. Now, a few days ago, there was something really awesome announced, and I'm showing you the Burner Max Payload Tool. Now, this is from Team Executor, and it is 0.15 inversion. Now, it's still pretty early, but it works great, and what exactly does this tool do, and why would you need it? Well, essentially, what this tool does is it lets you burn 100% XGD3 backups without necessarily owning an iHaz drive. So, this does work on all I has drives before you could only use burner max on a I has B model drive but now this works on A B C and D model drives so this works on all chipsets in addition to that it also works on several other light on drives it works on pioneer drives from what I've seen there are several drives it works on but several drives it doesn't just because normal DVD burners unlike Xboxes there are a ton of drives available out there there are hundreds and thousands of different variants of drives so whatever gets added in here gets added but anyways I'm going to throw a link in the description you could download the tool from there and I will show you all how to use the tool alright now before you do all this you want to have a blank DVD plus R dual layer in your drive now when you have this program there's going to be burner max and readme what you need to do is open up a burning program like image burn which is what I use and select what you want to do. Now as you can see the DVD is of a normal size, uh, pre Burner Max. Now what you want to do is open up your Burner Max file, select the DVD drive that has that blank DVD and hit Burner Max. If it's successful it will patch some temporary files onto your drive. It does not flash it at all. Now what you want to do is refresh your drive like so and as you can see you now have an 8.13 gigabyte disk. So now that you've seen how to use the tool and how to download it, you might have a few questions and I'll try to answer some of them. So the first one is, what is the benefit of this tool? Well the benefit is, now you can use many, many more drives with Burner Max. Uh, before you were only limited to a certain amount of drives with the B model chipset, but now you can use many, many, many more drives and you can even go to other brands. And this is just going to continue on. A second advantage is that you don't need to flash your drive anymore, although flash a DVD drive was easy before, you don't need to do it. Now the concern is, how do I know if this works for me? Well, see here's the problem, you really don't know until you try it. So if you have a DVD burner on hand, just download it and try it. If it does patch properly, it will patch. If it doesn't patch properly, you might want to wait for a later update, or you might just want to get another DVD burner that you know is compatible. Definitely Googling and looking up stuff on websites will help out a lot. Now what if you've already been burning discs and your iHaz drive is fine? Well, there's nothing really for you to worry about. If you do have a DVD drive on hand that you feel like is higher quality and you want to change it out and try and see if Burner Max on, it works on there, then you're more than welcome to do that. There's nothing stopping you. This is more for the people who were paying insane amounts of money. I'm talking $60, $70 for a burner itself, which should have been worth only $20. So this is going to bring the price of those burners down, hopefully, because now you can have more options to do this. The only other downside to having this tool is that you have to run it every single time you want to burn a disc. So that means every time you pop in a new dual layer disc, you have to do it. If you restart your computer, even if you just take it in and out, you have to run this tool. But aside from that, I mean, it's just an extra 10 seconds and to me it's totally worth it. So I personally think it's a great add-on and a great tool from Team Executor. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching everyone, and happy burning, happy holidays, and happy new year.